They have, they have beaches in South Korea. They're called women. Yeah, and they're covered in snow. Uh, your first question this week comes from Tom Sutton, 420. <laughs> if you could relocate the Funhouse HQ to anywhere in the world, where would you guys move to if you would even move at all? Hawaii. Wow. Yeah, Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Hawaii too. Are we all disagree Hawaii? Are we all going Hawaii? Well, Matt Pete, yeah. we're going to Hawaii? I feel Funhouse like, Hawaiian style. Hold on, hold on. I feel like we're just saying Hawaii because it's the newest state. What about Alaska? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the fly in the ointment. I know it's uncommon. And I'm not gonna say Japan, like you're all thinking, South Korea. What the fuck Fun are you- Funhouse of the DMZ! He's what? a good rapper. Yeah. We're gonna be near all the good Overwatch players. They drink fucking soju wall to wall. They, they got bomb ass internet. And it's basically everything we'd ever need. That's no, a, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually right. booked you a flight. So oh. we got, right after open house, you're going to South Korea. Do you realize that if we had an office in Hawaii, right now we'd be on back to Hawaii. Fronds? Cause it'd be like built like a, a Samoan hut. Oh, oh man. And we get tattoos you guys. that are all black. I, go up our arms. I always wanted to make a t-shirt that said best fronds and then had two palm trees like a heart. Uh, I literally learned this is a thing that existed, but that could be some merchandise we could sell. Funhouse best fronds. Yeah. Matt Fronds Peek. house. Matt Peek, do some belly dancing. Hey, why's Matt Peek over there? That's my question this week. Don't worry about it. Next okay. question. Dude Crispy says, McDonald's has called upon Funhouse to create a new Happy Meal for the kids. What food will be in it, how much will it cost, and what will be the special toy inside? Well, I think we should default to Elise. She's the expert on McDonald's, so yeah. what does uh, what this Funhouse Happy Meal look like? Uh, cheeseburger. Of course. And then inside of it, there's another little tiny cheeseburger. Ooh. When we sell a Funhouse Happy Meal, do we get a piece of it, right? Yeah. So oh, we yeah. The, the cardboard from the bottom well, right corner. Uh, a big reason why McDonald's has survived this long is their aggressive pricing structure. Mm -hmm. We need to crank it up. So $45 per Happy Meal per child. Yep. But it's good because it's not even in a box anymore. It's in a metal bucket. Next to the cheeseburger is a healthy option. So there'll be like an entire chicken breast in there. Well, there's gotta be a side, Matt Peek. What, what kind of side would you give him? We gotta go with, I think, vegetables. And um, the toy's gonna be cucknoculars. Oh, you can see a cuck from anywhere? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's for the older crowd, 11 and up. That underscore CT underscore guy you guys have all become sweet 80s action heroes. What is the, your tough guy name and signature one-liner? I'm Turge Flexhard. Oh, that's nice. And uh, my shit is, you just got assed. You just okay. got assed? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, all about, I'm all about butts for some reason, or just assing people. Hmm. Your guy need assing? I'm your guy, Turge, call me. Hmm. Roll up in my assmobile, pop my ass out. Okay. Who needs an assing in here? Uh-huh. Cracking my knuckles. Um, Time to ass. I'm I'm a hard-edged cop called Joseph Stashminsky. Nice. And I have a really large mustache. And I always wear a wife beater that always has pizza stains on it. And yeah, I fight crime, but I keep I keep getting thrown off the force because my uh, my methods are too they're too rough and tumble. What what kind of methods are they? I ask before I enter. Oh, that's nice. I always oh. get a warrant. I, wait, hold and on. Uh, I won't stand. Slow down. Yeah. yeah, this seems like you're following protocol. And sometimes I'll be like I'll be like watch your head as I'm putting him in the back seat of the car. What about Adam? I'm um, Kurt McRib. Oh, wait, do you get a, Hold on, do you hand out McRibs or do you get a oh, McRib? That's just or? a last name. I oh, am oh. A, uh, a retired Navy SEAL. Uh-huh. And I'm a substitute teacher. Oh. Until one day Crime happens. Oh man, and you can only fight crime once a year when rib prices are at their lowest. <laughs> the, once it, the McRib does not play into it, that's just the name. Uh, well, <laughs> Mr. McRib, can we get a McRib? I'll be pensive. Oh. And uh, my uh, signature one-liner is, think twice. Asshole. Nice. <laughs> nice. I got because asshole. I'm pensive, <laughs> so I'm boom. saying think. Uh -huh. Think boom. twice, asshole. Yeah. I got it. My name's my guy's name is uh, Fuckna, big dude. All right. Oh. Fuckna, big dude. So what he does, he patrols the streets for crime, just like Adam said. And then one day when crime happens, he says, "Prepare for Fuckna, big dude." And then he goes over and punches him and says, like, "Come at me! Come at me, come bro! At me. Watch out! Two yeah. men come on me. either side." <laughs> what up, Matt Pig? I'd be Metal McStumpy, and. My one-liner would be, you've been stumped. <laughs> but wouldn't you have been yeah, yeah. stumped? Well, no, he solved the case. You're the so stumped. But he always says it with an open inflict. Like, been oh, stumped? Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> Lawrence. It's Lugo Master writes, Miyamoto and Reggie need help with their next questionable Nintendo console. What would peripheral would you add to it, and how would it enhance gameplay? I want a neurological conductive orb of gel that you just jam your hands into. Nice. The trick is that the gel would be a hyper-concentrated methadone ball. So you cram in there, and the game is whatever happens in the next 24 hours. Oh, oh yeah. the what? game is real life. But then you gotta keep buying it because you're so addicted to the 
gameplay experience. Oh, you run out of jelly? Yeah, the jelly runs out. Oh. It stops working. You got to get a new one. Sounds like a drug. What? No, it's a game. Okay. Mine would be instead of a controller, it'd be poles, right? It'd be poles, and you could stack the poles together, and uh, it would have kind of like a tarp that would go over the over the poles into the shape of almost like a shelter-like structure. You could climb inside it, and that's how you play the game. You could take it anywhere. Huh. What do you call yeah. this device? Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know when you're playing games, you know, you don't have too much time for personal hygiene. Am I right? No. Am I right? No. Am I right? No. Am I right? No. So mine would be a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, just covered in razors. As you're uh, playing, you can be just shaving your body. I was just gonna say mine was a flashlight. You fuck it. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, that, that exists. Does it rank that's you? That's or pretty anything? much it. Just fuck it. You like Mario? Fuck him. <laughs> I want to summon Epona. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found the Master Sword. Mario is so tiny. You couldn't get your entire dick in him. That's what you think. <laughs> I have to like go up. Elise. This is from a. Uh, B. Gannon's, each person in the office gets to take the place of any musician in history. Who do you choose and what do you do as him or her? Freddie Mercury had the bangingest life in the world. He Literally. is the best rock singer of all time. Quite possibly the best singer of all time. Mm. In the greatest rock band of all time. At the greatest period of time. Mm. He was a master. I would be Christopher Lee because sometimes we forget that Christopher Lee was in a metal band. So I would be an awesome metal head, I'd be in Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, and I'd just be generally awesome. But you wouldn't bang a bunch of dudes like Freddie Mercury. We don't know. I would be Buddy Holly, I wouldn't get on that plane, and I'd sue the shit out of Weezer for ripping my style. 50 and years naming later? Song I was gonna say, me. I think he's dead. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's dead. Buddy Holly is gonna live forever, man. Uh, he was on top of the world. I think Unfortunately, that means you have a lot have of altitude to, come down. to drop. Yeah, yeah. You gotta come down eventually. Uh, I would go Mozart, because I've never seen the film Amadeus, and I think that would be a good way to experience it. Uh, oh wait, you would be sitting as Mozart watching, watching the Amadeus? DVD of Amadeus? That, that wouldn't exist then, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence? It's, uh, it's so hard to decide. Uh, the best I can do is narrow it down to two. Pretty equal in the musical field. First you got Elvis, the king. Uh, basically gave rock and roll to America. He Impeccable died on, hair. Died on the toilet though, don't forget about dying on the toilet. Everybody's gotta die somewhere. Elvis uh, fucked Priscilla when she was underage, right? Matt Peake? I'll go with uh, Beethoven, and I would be able to hear my music. Oh, was, wait. What? Oh, what? He gets Wasn't... laser ear surgery. Yeah, that's not... If you replace him, he's still deaf. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna be deaf. No, I, I would be David Bowie and I could fly! No, <laughs> <laughs> Matt Peake is saying he replaces him, but then gets to be himself. No. <laughs> but then you wouldn't be a genius! You would be a genius, Matt, if you were yourself. Mary you. had a Beethoven's, Beethoven's a genius! Yeah. You were better when you were deaf! I uh, but I can hear! Then he ends up writing the chicken dance. <laughs> <laughs> 1645. Uh, Matt, Matt Peak, last question. Resonator Funhouse is going from. is going form the first colony on Mars. What are your roles? Uh, I'd be human water bottle. Uh, I'd be responsible for storing all the water internally because everybody knows. Uh, water is at its purest when it is regurgitated from a uh, human form. I would be the fucker and the fucky. So if you wanted to fuck, uh, that would be me. Okay. And if you wanted to get fucked, mm -hmm. that would be me. That's also you. Yeah, that would be me. Gotcha. Ooh, multitasking. That's, yeah, that's multitasking. an important responsibility. Yeah, you gotta double up roles when you're going to Mars, that's for sure. I think it's a tie between uh, Matt Damon and Gary Sinise. Okay. All right. I Which understand. one do you do? I understand that. Mm -hmm. I understand that reference. Gary Sinise never made it to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence? I, I'd be counselor. It's only on Mars. Got Elvis poster on the wall. Somebody comes in, I'm lonely. I mean, check that out. Take a look at that poster. What if that asked you for your daughter's hand in marriage? What's the uh, minimum age requirement for young females to go to Mars and well, procreate? Depends that's what their up dad's to Elon. <laughs> <laughs> I got paperwork covering everything. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I'm a counselor. I'm trained for this. Yeah. Now watch this VHS tape of Elvis. Oh jeez. And let's see where this goes. Have some space wine. We can yep. drive Teslas on Mars. James, did you answer? I can't remember. No. Um, I would be David Bowie and I could fly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we have the best Guy Fieri impersonator in the Tri-County area. Somebody hit me up with a, I don't know, a Chili Mac bowl. We don't have those because we're not slobs. <laughs> chili Mac bowl. How am I supposed to dribble chili all over myself? I would like to have, I would like to do Guy Fieri because then we could have him and Lawrence wrestle and then we'd have a gun and we could only shoot one of them, but we wouldn't know who 